Public concerns about the threat of offshore oil operations includes concerns about the biological impacts of noise generated by seismic surveys and the huge environmental threat of oil spills. Seismic surveys used to locate hydrocarbon deposits generate a relentless series of bubble blasts that can be heard from hundreds to thousands of miles away in the ocean, disrupting migration, feeding and communication, and raising stress levels of animals within the hearing range. Oil spills speak for themselves and are inevitable. What is less known is what happens between these catastrophic bookends of this toxic industry. Once hydrocarbons are located, exploratory drilling begins, typically from a floating dynamically positioned platform or drill ship. What is not commonly known is that when industry puts their straws down into the seafloor, they don't just suck up oil, rather they tap into high pressure deposits of oil, gas, brine, sand, and other substances. These substances are not useful and expensive to bring to the surface. So separators, pumps, and manifolds are installed on the seafloor, making up a subsea pre-refinery, separating, distributing, and re-injecting the waste products back into the deposit, and pumping the oil and gas to the surface, where the oil is stored or offloaded and the gas is flared off. The subsea refinery, like any industrial operation, can be really noisy, with liquids, gases, solids, all being piped and distributed under extremely high pressure, generating a continuous factory racket that can be heard for miles in the surrounding ocean. Operations can be as deep as 10,000 feet and distributed as far away as 10 miles from the operations platform. Due to the depth, they need to be controlled and serviced remotely. This is done by way of underwater acoustic telemetry screaming acoustical channels with frequencies too high for human hearing, but right in the middle of dolphin and porpoise hearing range. The platform itself is dynamically positioned using seafloor acoustic beacons and is stabilized using continuously churning thrusters, like having a few tankers in the same place, forever. The platforms also serve as an industrial hub for crew boats, service vessels, and oil tankers, which continuously hover above a subsea industrial zone. And as the deposits are drawn down, they are monitored with ongoing seismic surveys. All of this industrial racket across all frequencies disrupts all marine life, from the simplest bivalves to the most elegant whales and dolphins, interfering with feeding, breeding, migration, social communication, and predator-prey acoustics. Offshore industry is really noisy, and once the first surveys begin, the ocean will never sound the same again.